Hey everybody, welcome to another Saul Plays. Today I'm going to be playing Inside, Playdead's new game, Limbo-esque game. Um, so I was originally going to play this game blind, but I was actually too excited to wait, so I played the entire game. Um, but people seemed interested in it when I said that it was really good, so we're gonna play it today. Um, as you can see, I've turned off as many lights as possible because I want to keep the atmosphere, um, you know, the same as the game, even though it's like sunny and 30 degrees Celsius outside. But anyway, I'll shut up and we'll get started on the game. I'll try to be quiet. <laughs> I'll try to be quiet because it is an atmospheric game. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, shut up. <laughs> let's get started. Alrighty. This is the kind of game you can play with one hand. You don't, you don't need the other hand, which I like. How's everybody doing tonight? Not bad. I'm not doing bad. Um, it's pretty fucking hot here, but I've closed all the windows and shit to keep the atmosphere the same. <laughs> it is to set the mood. I do play GameCube games, some of them. Sorry, the mouse was probably on the screen there. Sorry about that. Ay, son of a- The other button, uh, control button on my keyboard does not work. Seriously? I'm pressing control, you fucking nugget. Just... Jesus Christ. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I just played this game and I still can't remember this shit. It's the problem, I kind of lose all my logic when I start streaming these sort of games. Have I been scared of the other mother from Coraline? No. I mean, she's kind of creepy, but not scary. I'm a grown-ass woman, I don't get scared by that kind of stuff. Oh, there's plenty of things I'm scared of, trust me.
No, I've never played the game Crimson Skies. It's a kind of a weird question. Shit. Ah, fuck. Ow. I'll be releasing an update about my housing situation soon. It's not a Q&A session guys, it's a it's a live stream. still don't have this entire game memorized or anything, so I might die quite a bit. I've only played through it once. Ah, shit. I am having fun playing inside. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Next Q&A session will be, um, two Thursdays from now. Hold on a second, my cat wants inside. Cool, Mom. You gonna be like that? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what? I've not watched The Walking Dead. Live action stuff doesn't interest me. It's dead pig time. You know, it's interesting. There's actually a... Uh, I guess spoilers. Well, this whole thing is spoilers. But there's actually something down here, I'll show you. Um, it's basically a way to end the game. It's kind of like, um, it's sort of like 
at uh, uh, Takashi's challenge. Is that what it's called? Yeah, down here. It's a secret en ending that if you use this thing here and open a secret door over here, you get to pull out a plug and then the game ends. So it reminds me of, uh, what's it called? Takashi's challenge or whatever, where if you pull all these things out, you win the game. It's just really- it's a really abrupt ending, and it's like Takashi's Challenge when you punch the guy at the password screen, and then you just end the game. <laughs> it's sort of like that. Yeah, I'm not saying that Takashi's Challenge wasn't an unfair game, I'm just saying it's- it reminds me of that, the secret ending of this game. forgetting my other control button doesn't work. They are. They're little chicks. That's a good way to use your chickens. <laughs> I know. When I started this game, I didn't think I'd ever be firing chickens. I didn't think I'd ever be firing chickens at a, a hay bale. Can you pull the damn thing, please? Just, uh, hello? Hello there. Ah, crazy pig corpses. And this is what I like to call the pig corpse section of the game. This thing that I'm doing here, pulling out these things in the thing, whatever the fuck it is, it's not necessary. It's totally optional. But just like Limbo, I like getting the golden eggs, even though it's, it's out optional. I am chewing gum, actually. I just felt like doing it. Have I heard about Shrek 5? Well, if that's a thing, 
I'm not surprised, but it's still stupid. Crazy pigs! <laughs> oh shit! Oh! That was a spine break. What is it about play and mind controlling worms? One thing that struck me about this game is that it, there's actually color in it, unlike Limbo, where there was no color at all. I mean, the colors are pretty washed out, but there's still actual color in this game. <laughs> yes. Mind control is one of the, the central themes of this game. Okay, to stop you from asking over and over and over again, the saddest game ending I've ever seen is Professor Layton in the Unwound Future. There, now please stop asking. Like I said, this isn't a Q&A session. I mean, you know, feel free to ask me questions and everything, but it's, it, you know, that's not exact- I'm trying to play a game, so I can't really, you know, pay attention to questions and playing the game at the same time. How's the audio quality, by the way? Is the audio and visual quality good? More chickens! Oh no. Oh wait, right, they're not chickens.
Actually, those they weren't chickens. They were little crows. <laughs> the little crows are back. I can tell you that upon my first playthrough of this game a few days ago, I died a lot. <laughs> like, I died there. I, I died so much because, you know, trial and error, all that stuff. But damn, I died a lot. Losing all the circulation in my hand. <sighs> yeah, the objective of this game is to run right until the game tells you to stop running right. And that's kind of why I like it. It's just the simplicity of it. Also, I'm a sucker for puzzle games, too. So. Well, like I said, I'm keeping sort of quiet to match the atmosphere of the game, so it's not really a joke kind of day. <laughs> Yeah, this is the sort of game that's best played at like, whoops, that was a mistake. Um, this is the kind of game that you need to play by yourself in the dark alone at three in the morning with a big pair of earphones or headphones. That way you get the absolute best atmosphere. I'm good. I'm fine. Ah, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Um, you can buy this game on Steam, actually. It's a little expensive right now, but, uh, you know, it's- it's- if you like puzzle platformers, like dark, creepy puzzle platformers, this is a good game for you. It's not a Limbo homage, it was made by the same people as Limbo. They're, they're a very niche company. But hey, if it works for them, it works for them. I got no complaints. This kid is more accident prone than Nathan Drake. I'm not really playing Pokemon Go, I just signed up for an account. 
I haven't been able to, you know, leave my house in like three days because <laughs> I've been working. I just realized these places have like the best soundproofing in the world. I mean, they're pretty run down and yet as soon as you go inside, all sound just stops. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Yeah! Ooh! Mmm! Jesus, right in the neck. Poor kid. I called this kid Chuck. Chuck is a poor kid, constantly getting killed. Poor kid. He's just running from something. Whatever the hell he's running from. Imagine if you were this kid. I mean, Jesus. A seagull! With poo. There's poo. Seagull poo is on the ground. Oh yeah, you've got no face. Nobody has any faces. Don't you fucking jump! <laughs> Thank you. 
Fucking hell. Ah! Shit. God. <laughs> if you get caught at any time, you die instantly. Everything is a one-hit death in this game. Especially the dogs. The dogs are scary. Ow, my hand just fucking hurts. Sorry. It just doesn't- I don't have a lot of circulation going in my hand, so... <laughs> He's the man in the box. I know that's not how the song goes. I don't actually know how the song goes. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I know, you have to support your entire weight by your neck. So, yeah, you're right. Your head would probably get ripped off. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's lucky there was water under there, or I would have died. Sorry. <laughs> A button. Um, you do actually have limited time underwater. You drown if you spend too much time underwater. You have to listen for his drowning noise.
yeah, he's got a lot of stamina. Remember, this is only like the first third of the game, too. Jeez. Trying to remember what to do here. It's nice to see you guys are entertaining yourself. Oh man, I died a lot here the first time. Like, more times than I care to say. Again. Oh, fucking hell. Hey guys, what's up? Stop. I'm innocent. Oh shit, no! <laughs> well, now I know what to do. I died the first time quite a few times because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know the timing of everything, but now I do. That's why I didn't die.
Ah, oh, you son- <sighs> Fucking control button, I swear to piss. Good job, kid. You did it. You made it. I love you, Chuck. You're a brave boy. I wonder how many broken bones Chuck has by the end of this, if you don't die at all. He probably has like, half his bones are broken, he has a punctured lung, covered in welts. Poor kid. Poor Chuck. Chuck doesn't deserve any of this, whatever the hell he's running from. No, Chuck and his comrades are real people. <laughs> he very well could be a fucked up serial killer, but I'm on Chuck's side. Shit! Dive under, you fool! Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Stop. Both his ankles would have broken. Oh shit! Run, you fool, run! Smart kid. I like this Chuck. He's got a good head on his shoulders. I didn't even have to tell him to do that, he just did it himself. <laughs> 
Yes, I'll just kindly ask the Dobbs to stop trying to rip my flesh off. Sure, that'll work. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just gonna steal your submersible. Haha! -ha, Grand Theft Submersible! <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> Oh yeah. Can you imagine how terrifying this would be in real life? Because I can't. <laughs> no. My head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look what his name is. James Cameron, the greatest pioneer. No budget too steep, no sea too deep. Who's that? It's him, James Cameron. <laughs> That's uh, That is a great episode of South Park. I can hear birds. At least I think they're birds. This part reminds me of Bioshock, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sing that. Um, but I get what you're saying. Run! Fucking run! Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Ah! Fucking hell. I'm 
I'm assuming that Chuck's parents are not alive anymore. Or else he wouldn't be doing this. They probably got mind control. They're eaten by pigs or something like that. Oh my god, it's the forest from Limbo. Except with electrical stuff in it. Maybe that's it. Maybe Limbo was actually just an, like an experiment being run on one of these guys in one of these big facilities. This is pretty much like, this whole game is like Alan Wake meets Bioshock meets Limbo. You guys are calling him Chuck too. <laughs> That's it. His name is Chuck. He, it is officially Chuck, and I love him. I can definitely tell you that I resoundingly shit my pants when I first saw that. Here's a tip if you guys ever um, play this game. Look for the yellow wires. See that? There's a yellow wire on the ground there. Look for them. It leads to those little orb things that I've been pulling out. Basically the secrets. So if you see a yellow wire, it means they're around somewhere. If you pull out all the orb things, you get the secret ending. I like the way he falls. Sorry, dude. There's a lot of swimming in this part. I guess because in Limbo you couldn't swim at all, they needed to compensate by adding a lot of swimming in this game. Ah, you see? Ah, no, no. I don't want to spoil the secret ending. You know what, because I don't have anything to do today, I'm planning to play this whole game, because it's only about two hours long. It's really not that long. Especially because I know what I'm doing this time. So, I don't want to spoil the secret ending. If I get to the end, though, I will show you what the secret ending is. So, yeah. Because honestly, I think the regular ending is much more interesting, but uh, secret ending has its merits, too. It's sort of weird. Yeah, he's just gonna sit there dangling there forever. Poor guy.
Mm. I just said I am streaming to the end of the game. Unless for whatever reason I can't. Alright. I, I said I was going to. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Oh, poor Chuck. Drowning is one of the worst ways to die. Drowning is my third favorite way to die, but they are all good. <laughs> it looks pretty easy to pilot this submarine. Um, Pilcogo, I'm assuming that's cucumber. Your joke is that it's cucumber. Yeah, see, I was right. Pretty obvious joke, mate. Just, uh, I give up. <laughs> Don't drown, Chuck. We love you. Don't drown. Good boy. I love you, Chuck. I want to keep you alive. Whoops. <laughs> See, I thought if you smash the submersible too much- OH FUCK! Right. If you're wondering what that thing is that I just ran away from, don't ask me because I actually don't know. It's never explained what it is. I like it though. I like the effects on its hair. Ow. Spooker Wooker? Okay, they're officially called- S it's Chuck- this game should be renamed Chuck and the Spooker Wookers. <laughs> no, no, they're called Spooker Wookers, Elena. Chuck and the Spooker Wookers. Now a Saturday morning cartoon. Coming to NBC.
Yeah, coming to the Disney Channel. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck and the Spooky Workers. <laughs> Chuck and the Spooky Worker Two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. It's a TV movie. Coming to sci fi fall two th 2017. <laughs> I am Spooker Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> Maybe I should get someone to make me a, a plushy Spooker so they can join me on the show. Be with Spy Crab and Carl and the Creepy Link. Join the uh, entourage. <laughs> Rob Schneider is the Spookerooker, <laughs> rated PG-13. <laughs> Twelve years of sp <laughs> Twelve years of Spookerooker. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck hell, that's funny. Oh, oh yeah, right, the game that I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, play Pokemon to go. Play Pokemon Go to catch a Spookerooger. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. My fucking legs. <laughs> Spooka worker versus pseudo wudo. Yeah. Yeah, if if you want to send me uh, an art of Spooka worker, then uh, yeah, feel free to do that. I'd very I'd greatly appreciate a Spooka worker art. <laughs> because I think it's funny. Extremely funny. <laughs> Um, you can send art to my Twitter account or my Facebook page. Pr pretty much anywhere, to be honest. Whoops, I want to go down. Stop, I want to go down. I have a twatter, yes, I do have a twatter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm. I'm certainly not talented enough to um, make a spooky worker. But if someone were to make me a spooky worker, I would definitely include it in the entourage. Out of the way. Keep that Q-tip away. Keep it away. Hey, look, more swimming. Oh shit. No! Chuck! Don't die! No! Yes, thank you. <laughs> wow, I can barely see a thing. Well, seeing as how the, the last episode of the Sonic Tacular is already made and uploaded, you can assume that I survived. <laughs> Jesus, I cannot see a thing. It's too dark.
No, if they called the game Underwater instead of Inside, everyone would say it's a ripoff of Undertale. Alright, come here, you drones. Creepy, molesty, pedophile drones. Ugh, and the sounds they make are even creepier. Oh, no, it's- it's uploaded, but it's not available. The Sonic Boom review is scheduled for Friday. I'm just saying I've uploaded it and scheduled it for Friday. It's not- No, no, it's not up yet. It's just scheduled for tomorrow, is what I'm saying. But I've already made it, you know. Like, I made the whole episode. It'll be up tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST for your viewing amusement. But as you can see, I obviously survived. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> Ow. You didn't catch me, fucking pedophiles. Just catch me next time, alright? Fuck. How long does preparation for the videos take? Um, you know, um, scripting is Monday, film, record, ADR skeleton is Tuesday, and then splicing is Wednesday, final upload is Wednesday. Unless for whatever reason I can't, in which case final upload is Thursday. Like, Thursdays is for emergencies only. <laughs> I'm not a spooky worker in disguise, I swear. I don't have long black hair. I'm liking this one. This one is, uh, <laughs> this, this one's amusing so far. <laughs> Shit, move. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You guys are making me laugh. Ah, shit, more pedophiles! It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Amen. <laughs> well, I'm definitely looking forward to Kachuk and the Spookawooker, but, um, no, there aren't really any shows I'm looking forward to other than the Samurai Jack reboot. Oh, and the rest of, um, Star vs. Season 2 as well. Kind of looking forward to that. No, stop. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I broke my neck. Tony Randall broke my leg. I can't fucking see, so that's why I fell. <laughs> Saul versus the Wookers of Evil? <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck hell. Oh, it's my favorite part. Well, not really, but this is a pretty good part. It reminds me of that- of the Tenth Colossus and Shadow of the Colossus.
Hmm. Now that I've actually played through this game and seen the secret ending, now this is all starting to make sense. In a vague way. <laughs> Kingdom Wookers! <laughs> oh my god, you guys are hilarious. You are making me shit my pants over here. <laughs> Fucking hell. I should have. Oh man, if I had known this was gonna happen, I would have streamed the, you know, chat too. I don't usually do that while I'm playing games, but this is fucking hilarious. I guess if you're watching this after the stream is done, let me just say that you're missing out. It's fucking hilarious. And my hand is asleep. No, a st a s in this universe, a stick is useless unless it's on fire. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, the Wooker dead, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Someone just should just go on to the wiki where this game is associated and just re rename the 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 article to, to Spooky Wooker. <laughs> All right, pedophiles, time for you to touch my young hot body. That came out really wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> SpongeBob Wooker pants. <laughs> uh, uh, God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Pedophiles to the rescue! Ah, fucking hell! <laughs> ah, stop it! <laughs> this stream is totally meme worthy. <laughs> This is like f fucking teeter totter of pedophiles. <sighs> oh, yeah. Ah, shit. I am having severe trouble with the timing on this. attention to the chat and you guys are making me fucking laugh that I'm having trouble with the timing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Pedophiles, gotta catch them all. I'm like dizzy from all the fucking laughing. I've not had much to laugh about for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, you touch me and I'll touch you, pedophiles. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want all of you in here. Stop that.
God damn it. God damn it, god damn it. It's time for Playdead's favorite thing, touching dead bodies. I do love defiling corpses and all that. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are having so much fun with this spooky wooker thing. This is this is great. Ugh, thank you. Your hands are clammy and disgusting. Oh right, this isn't the place with the multiple things. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised <laughs> you actually went to the wiki and changed it to Spooker Wooker. <laughs> well, yeah, because no one would get it other than the few people watching this stream. They should rename this game Chuck and the Pedophiles of Wonder. <laughs> oh my god, Spook her lives. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. This whole part of the stream is totally ruined for people watching in the future because it's just nothing but me laughing. I mean, at least I'm actually still playing the game, but fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> this part reminds me of, um... What's it called? The the boogly tree or whatever it's called in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Where you have to get all of those fucking things onto the scale. Oh yeah, prepare for one of the craziest things you'll ever see. Boom! Okay, I'm gonna stop paying attention to the chat for a little bit because I have to pay attention. Fuck. This, play this nearly gave me a heart attack the first time. This part was one of the hardest parts trying to figure out the first time. Because of the threat of imminent death through the entire thing. <sighs> I died probably like 15 times trying to figure this out. Fuck. Oh, I can't believe I didn't die. Holy shit. I think the game glitched, actually. I think it thought I was behind the thing, but I actually wasn't.
That was a lot scarier the first time because I didn't know what I was doing. Hello, Caleb. You have missed a lot. <laughs> Oh fuck. Run! A oh, fucking dead! Oh! Oh, every single organ in his body just ruptured into a million pieces. Poor Chuck. He didn't have- he didn't deserve that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Back to what what all you guys were doing. <laughs> Don't drown, Chuck! Don't! No! Wait, what? That was weird. It played the drowning animation and I still managed to get out. That was strange. I feel like the game is, like, toying with me almost. It's like, oh, you already beat the game, so you don't have to worry. It's like, fuck you, I still want a challenge. <laughs> That's the only time I'll say fuck you to this game, because I actually really like it. Um, hello, Brother Bear Stories. I, I have definitely noticed you. I can see you there. <laughs> Those devious spookawookers. Oh shit! Ow! My legs! Dead. Very dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chuck doesn't have health insurance in this world. <laughs> yeah, my leg! <laughs> Reach! Jump! Ah, yes. You did what I told you, Chuck. You're a good boy. I love you, Chuck. Chuck is my main man.
<laughs> in case you're wondering, yes, I have played this game before. Ah! It's a spooker wooker! A dead spooker wooker by the looks of it. <laughs> I don't know, though. The spooker wookers, they're, they're sneaky, alright. Do I identify as a spooker or a wooker? I'm more of a chuck, actually. Don't put labels on me, man. I'm chuck. Check your- Ah! Fuck! Oh, the spooker wooker's alive! Oh, it's fucking alive! Wait, stop. I don't want to drown. Um, okay. Sure, why not? The spooker wooker's gonna get me. The tale of two spooky workers. Shit! I'm dead. Ah, the spooky worker's gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, not only am I drowning, but I'm being chased by a feral spooky worker. Actually, this part is where I stopped the first time, um, because I'd been playing for like five hours and I was so fucking tired. But, uh, yeah. This is- yeah, this is about where I stopped. <laughs> the little spooky wooker that could. Stop! Ah! Shit! This is hard because I can barely see anything. It's too dark. Uh. They're scurry, all right. Frightening little things. <laughs> Swim, you fool! Ah, oh, shit! My ankles! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> I can't really see anything. That's what I'm saying. Swim, you monster! Climb! Jump! Put those fourth grade gym lessons to work! That's it, Chuck. My baby Chuck. You're a good boy. Alright, now time for my Olympic high diving lessons to kick in. Yo! Shit! <laughs> It's gonna get me! Haha, -ha, bitch, you can't come up on land. <laughs> actually, this is where I stopped the first time, so yeah, I'm actually like two thirds through the way of the game now. Oh shit, I'm not I'm not ready yet. Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, if the spooky wooker evolved to walk on land, we would all be screwed.
Swim, you fool! Swim! And now don't drown. Because I love you, Chuck. I just adore Chuck and his red sweater. I'm pretty sure I just missed a uh, orb back there, but whatever. I already have all the achievements. And I can show you the secret ending anyway. <laughs> yeah. Chuck is my one and only. He's the thing I adore most in this entire world. <laughs> how about Shuck? If you need a shipping name for Saul and Chuck, how about Shuck? Oh god, more water! Oh fuck! More fucking spookerookers! Oh right, this is where the orb is, I believe. Yeah, this is where it is. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh! Not today, Spooky Wooker. Not today. Oh fuck, apparently it's today! Shit! <laughs> right, I forgot you can't go back that way. Let's. God damn it. Ugh, now I have to die. Kill me, Spookawooker. You may take me as your own. <laughs> yeah, hot, hot, sexy Spookawookers in your area. Swim! Ah, oh, come on! I fucking made it. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> I was actually getting junk mail yesterday from, uh, yeah, hot, sexy, spooky workers in my area, and then I got another one saying I could extend my spooky worker size by three inches. Oh, you son of a- Oh, I got stuck under the fucking platform! Shit. This part's kind of annoying. Same fucking thing happened because I can barely fucking see. It's too dark. It's kind of what I liked about Limbo is other than the secret area, it never really got so dark that you couldn't see. But this game has a few areas where it's just so dark you can't even see. Unless you're playing on my laptop, which the brightness is up way too high. Okay, stay over here. 
Do not go under the platform. Or you could just get un- Ugh! Oh, Jesus fuck! This spooker is not my friend. Um, I can't type anything safer because it would, um, freeze the game. You know, not freeze it permanently, but it would just stop the game, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh. Why? Why are you doing this? Stop killing me. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm not sure- The only reason I'm dying so much is because I can't see the fucking platform. Even though I know it's there. High school wookical. Oh, that was a bit of a stretch. Okay, I'm staying right fucking here. And then when I turn around, I'll get up on the goddamn platform. That better be enough. Fucking swim, you idiot! <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Spook me, wook me, chuck me, fuck me. Jesus fucking spookarookers, they're killing me. Obviously, multiple times. This is the part I'm having the most trouble with here, obviously. <laughs> oh shit, no, 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 so much nope. Get out of there. And dead. Oh, look at that. I didn't die. But I'm only halfway done. Halfway there! Halfway there! If you lower yourself in, it takes too much time, so you gotta fucking launch yourself in there. <laughs> oh, hi, Spooky Wooker. You're my favorite customer. All right, let's let's just fucking do this. Let's make it work. All right, swim, you fucking idiot! Swim! Oh, oh God! This is like the tenth try. God damn it! I should not be dying this much. Oh, well, at least you guys are entertaining yourselves here <laughs> while I try and actually do this. <laughs> I know, I just got crushed to death by the fucking door. Ah. <sighs> 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble with this part. I mean, my hand is numb. That might be one reason. But I'm not using that as an excuse. Pick it up. Spook Donalds. <laughs> You're just a spooky wooker. Cheep, 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 cheep. Um, no, you have to go back into the water to get the spooky worker's attention. That's the whole point of this puzzle. Whoa, he just did like a fucking backflip! <sighs> oh, God. Alright, one sec. I just need a drink of water because it's fucking incredibly hot in here, so just a sec. Uh, oh, Kumo, are you like dying of heat in here? Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Okay, let's start this fresh and new. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Kumo, Vocaloid Vic Victrix says hi. Ew, I wouldn't drink this water. It's probably all fetid and full of disease. I mean, look, there are spooky wookers swimming in it. I would not drink this water. Okay, let's just, let's do this. I did it! I'm one with the cosmos! Now don't drown. Don't drown, Chuck. There we go. Finally. That's probably the most annoying puzzle in the game, to be honest. Oh shit. Shit! <laughs> no! The spooka wookers! They finally consumed my soul. I can't see anything but black. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm not dead. I thought I was- when I first played this, I thought I was dead too. But nope, I'm not dead. Fishies! Ponyo, 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 fishy in the sea. Tiny little fishy, who could she really be? 
So I guess the logic is, if you get bit by a spooku wooker, you turn into a spooku wooker. So, so they're vampiric spooku wookers. <laughs> oh my god, VHS tapes! Hey, it's like that Catwoman movie. How the cat breathes new life into her and then she's all of a sudden a cat. Well, now the fish have just breathed new life into me and now I can breathe underwater. That movie was really stupid, by the way. Chuck, yeah, Chuck is now Aquaman. Chuck is Aquaman confirmed. No, he's Aqualad. Yeah. Chuck is Aqualad. <laughs> Summoning the creatures of the deep. Chuck. Oh, look, there's a dead spooky worker in the back. I think. Or is that a piece of- No, sorry, that's a piece of wood, I think. I'm not sure, it's hard to say. It's so fucking dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> I wonder if I'm in the land of Ooh right now. This looks like the land of Ooh. You know, it's all post apocalyptic y under the ocean there. <laughs> if if I hate everything actually did a video called I Hate Spook Wookers, that would be the most hilarious thing ever. But obviously he's not watching the stream and it would never reach his ears. So yeah, that's not I mean he wouldn't do something stupid like I hate Mars bars, so yeah. Now, my army of fish, go, go destroy the world of men. When you said someone was behind me, I thought you meant literally in my room, and that would have scared the shit out of me. Yeah, right now I feel just like, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the Chuck? The Chuck that has everything. <laughs> oh look, a yellow wire. Remember what yellow wires mean, people. Oh wait, is that a yellow wire? I think there's a, a orb here, but I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> I wanna go where the spookers are. I wanna see, wanna see them swimming. Swimming around with those? What do you call them? Oh, hair. Up where they spook, up where they wook, up where- Okay, I can't sing anymore. <clears throat> I can usually sing better than that, but I'm not really trying very hard. I guess there isn't an orb here and I'm just an idiot. I would love to do a musical episode one day. But I would want to do it with other people, because my singing for like 14 minutes or so would get really annoying.
Somehow I'll make a wook out of you. <laughs> yeah, like I love to sing, but yeah, I wouldn't ever want to make an episode of just me singing, because that, that would be boring. Yeah, you must be swift as a spooker wooker with all the force of a swimming chuck. <laughs> Do I have Discord? You mean that like Skype esque chat thing? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, my army of fish is gone. Ah, shit, right. Ah, this part. This part took me quite a few tries the first time, too. That was incredibly stupid of me! Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> what would be good for a musical? Well, I mean, one I've always wanted to do... I've always wanted to do a review of the Sweeney Todd movie, but it's not animated, so I can't. But that's my favorite- one of my favorite musicals. Oh right, I can breathe un indefinitely underwater. I don't have to worry about drowning Chuck anymore. <laughs> I, I actually don't really know how to sing in harmony, so I couldn't sing in harmony with my clones. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, is, yeah, if I were to do a musical episode, um, I would want to have other people to do it with, and so far, you know, I'm not a big enough reviewer to have anyone consider doing it with me. Not that I've really pursued it, but, you know, it's- I have pursued collaborations with other people, but no one's particularly interested. I can see your your chat, Brother Bear, I can see it. Um, well, since I know what I'm doing for the most part in this game, it's about three hours, give or take a little bit. I've been streaming for just about two, and I'm pretty much like, yeah, I'm almost two-thirds through the entire game. Dead! Oh, god, that would hurt. Wait, I am dead? What? How the fuck did I die? Apparently jumping from that high into water will kill me or something? What happened? Yeah, why did I die that time? I was just kidding when I said dead. Oh yeah, and now we come to the PT room. Oh shit. Right, <laughs> whoops. Ow, my shins. Poor Chuck. Nobody loves Chuck. 
But I do. I love Chuck. Ah, fuck. Ah. A little too early. No, I, I need you to come up with me, you little block. you It's my companion cube, and I need you to come up with me. We'll, we'll have dinner every night together. We'll tell stories. We'll have two beautiful children. Come on. You're coming with me, man. We're not leaving you behind. Oh, right. <laughs> now I remember. I'm so not supposed to ride this guy to the end of the world. I'm supposed to let him go by himself. <laughs> My baby! <laughs> no, I refuse to believe that this box contains a spooky wooker. He's mine. Oh, right. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. I will always love you. Not as much as Chuck, but that cube will forever be my friend. Hey look, another VHS tape. I wonder if it's of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. The cube's name? Um, Bruce. The, the cube's name is Bruce. Um, Caleb, I have thought about making a second channel, but at the moment I'd like to get actual, you know, like, I'd like to extend the amount of viewership I have on my regular channel before doing a second one. I'll probably do a second channel once, when and if the time comes that I can do YouTube as a living. Um, then I'll start a second channel with just doing whatever the hell I want. But, um, yeah, for, for now, for now, I'm just gonna stick with the one channel. I like keeping things focused. Here I come, baby. I'm a coming. Hey, look, a yellow wire. See what I mean? <laughs> well, I don't- yeah, in terms of a second channel, I don't want to have to focus on more than one channel because, you know, I'd always be worried that I'm not uploading enough content to either, so yeah, I just want to keep it focused for now. Keep in mind, I don't have a big, you know, I don't have a big sub count right now, so I I just need to do what I can at the moment. Hey look, it's, um, Super Pitfall with its anti-gravity water. I do really like this though, these visuals here. This is really very impressive. Uh, 
Um, in the grand scheme of things, 6,000 subscribers is not really a big channel. You're not considered a big channel until you have 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm unsatisfied with my sub count, I'm just saying that in terms of YouTube numbers, it's not- it's not that big. But still, I appreciate every single subscriber that I have. Obviously you can tell, because every time something happens sub count wise, I always post on Twitter or Facebook if it was bullshit or cool or not. Because I value you guys. I'm playing in the dark for atmosphere, although we totally broke the atmosphere by fucking laughing our asses off at Spooky Wooker and Bruce and Chuck. can't treat people like commodities, man! By the way, in case you can't see because it's too fucking dark, there are people in that cage. Oh, and just a heads up, no, this room does not have sound. I got really confused when I played this the first time. I'm like, what happened to the sound? But no, there is no sound for this, uh, for this place. I just said there's no sound in this room. It goes totally quiet, and I'm not sure why. I think it's because you're supposed to be looking at it through the glass window here, but it was confusing the first time. I was like, why is there no sound? It's cool, though. I do not need more cleavage in my thumbnails. I'd like to think that I have something other to offer something better to offer than just tits. That's why I almost never wear revealing clothing or anything like that. This is the most revealing thing I'll ever wear, is a tank top. <laughs> well, you can't abuse a meme too much or else it'll get old real quick. So it's good that the, the meme has quieted down a little bit. There. Okay, now the sound is back. More super pitfall rooms.
Um, move. What are you doing? Thank you. Oops, I went the total wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I'm streaming till the, the game is done. It should be, I don't know, maybe another 30 minutes? Maybe 45 minutes if I keep dying for whatever reason? Yeah, other than breathing, Chuck doesn't make a whole lot of noise. I mean, he doesn't have a face, what do you expect? I know you're scared, Chuck, but jeez. Shh. It'll be okay. And every little thing is gonna be alright. Oh my god. Ah! Dad, it's raining men again! Oh, those poor people. I would call them pedophiles, but there are some women in there too. And I know women can be pedophiles too, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are misshapen and disturbing, so I don't know, I, I wouldn't call these guys pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. Daijoubu ne, Chuck. Oh right, <laughs> derp. Come on, you misshapen, disgusting blobs of skin. Come with me. <laughs> oh no. There are some that are too blobby and damaged to come with me. And there are some moving limbs on the ground. Disturbing. <laughs> um, you missed a lot. This is loyal stormtrooper. You missed a lot. <laughs> Ah, you nugget, I pressed control. Ugh. I sang a little bit. L little bit, not too much. I didn't sing a whole song or anything. Come along, you disgusting creatures. Come with me. Hello. Okay, control button. It's all on you now. Thank you. Oh god, more pedophiles! Now we got pedophiles and blobs. Notice how they're following me without a mind control helmet. Mm. And I can swim like the spooky wooker. Ah, dead. Oh, everyone just dogpile on my dead corpse, why don't you? Wait. Go on. Go on. There we go. <laughs> oh. 
I don't think Spooky Wooker is dead. It's just, it needs to rest for a little bit so it doesn't get tiring. Everybody, bye. Oops, no, stop. Shit! Oh, okay, good. <laughs> my my kneecaps didn't explode. So I guess I'm in some sort of abandoned hospital or some shit like that. Oh right, you guys probably want to see what's down there. Look, if you can see, there's people running away down there. It's kind of hard to see. There he is. There he goes. Must be like me. Another Chuck running away from mind control. <laughs> Come along, you fantastic pedophiles and blobs. We're gonna change the world. Ah! <laughs> I said, it's another Chuck. A Chuck running away in the distance. The noblest of Chucks. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'll miss you. I'll send you postcards. Except I'll be dead, so I probably won't. Oh my god, that cigar's still lit. People have been here recently. Actually, that's kind of creepy. Obviously, watching me play like this is downgrading the atmosphere and creep factor this game has. When you're playing it alone at 3 in the morning with headphones on, it's quite creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just ruining the creep factor for everyone. Oh, look at this. I'm almost near the end. Ah, people! People who don't want to kill me. You know what? I'm actually not going to walk up to that window, just so you guys... Y you have a bit more of a surprise. I'm not going to walk up to that window. No, no, I'm not ruining the surprise. You guys can see it as soon as I get there. 
But it's obviously interesting because all these people are watching and not killing me. You'll see what it is. But I wanted to keep it a surprise. Oh my god, fluorescent bulbs! That was the surprise, by the way. Fluorescent bulbs. <laughs> and now it's time to see the payoff. Well, not really. The sort of payoff for all of those orbs I unlocked. This is the final orb. Did I miss any? I think I missed one or two. Oh, I missed one. I forgot about one. So I can't open this miraculous door. Sorry guys, I can't open the final orb. I'm sorry you guys. I'll still show you the secret ending after I'm done though. Cause I already f got all of the orbs in a previous playthrough so... I'll, I'll show you what the... the secret ending is. When you open the, the the secret orb thing there, or the final orb, nothing particularly interesting happens. You have to actually go find the secret ending. It doesn't just happen. So, well, fin I'll finish the game, and then I'll go to the chapter where the secret ending is, and then I'll show you. It's not a cutscene, trust me, the secret ending is just- it's not really anything at all, but I'm still gonna show you. Anyway, because you guys deserve to see it. Swim! Swim for your life, Chuck! You can do it! Alright, here's the surprise! Look, I'm naked. That's not the surprise, though. <laughs> That's the surprise. Ooh, look at all that blood coming out. <laughs> Trust me, it gets better. Uh, no, Chuck! Oh no, Chuck's been assimilated. And... Come on, pull! Pull, you magnificent stallions, pull! No. Nothing can stop me. I'm the boy in the I'm the boy in his blob. 
Open the fucking door. Hey guys! <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> and they still follow me. Help me, guys! I need help! From the pedophiles and the deformed monsters. Thank you! I'll send you money. Imagine if you were just at work one day and this came fucking running through your workplace. Hey, Mr. CEO man. Bitch! Oh! Well, he's not CEO anymore. Come on, arms. Work together here. Come on, arms. You can do it. No. <laughs> There you go. Good guys. Oh shit! <laughs> right, I forgot. <laughs> I remember you, dogs. Even the dogs don't know what to do. They're just like, um... <laughs> we, we weren't trained to deal with blob monsters. But yeah, y you know what? You may as well just call this game The Boy and His Blob. A boy and his blob. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh man. Poor guys. Don't worry guy over there, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you, boy. I mean man. I mean person without a face. Thank you though, for opening the door, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But not that. I, I I don't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. 
No, stop. Don't throw it. I need that box. Stop throwing it against the wall. Fuck. You see, when I first played this game, I thought the goal was to get inside the furnace and die. But no, you actually can't go in there. <laughs> Your goal is to do this. Set the box on fire. There we go. That's the goal. No, 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 no! Ah. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. You gotta admit, that was pretty awesome. Look, I can't see anything. It's just no, nah, that's that's not gonna work. I'm using all the intelligence my blob brain can give me. Obviously Chuck is 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 the nervous center of this whole thing. But it was held in place by mind control, I'm assuming. And then because Chuck pulled out those four mind control things. It became this monstrosity, and Chuck was assimilated into it. I'm still covered in blood, by the way. The CEO's blood. Hey! <laughs> I miss Uncle Chuck. I don't know. Come on, you got it. Yeah, you got it, baby. I don't think Chuck had a choice to assimilate. Chuck didn't have a choice. Some of these guys- yeah, some of the people are trying to help. That's why they're not running away. Like this guy. This guy's a, a bud. Come on, Mr. Man. Be a bud. Ah, damn it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I didn't make it.
thank you, Mr. Man. I appreciate the help. Grab it. Uh. Give me, give me, give me, ch g give me Bruce, give me Bruce. Oh no. No, don't, don't, no, don't. All I wanted to do was entertain, but nobody understands the blob. Nobody understands the pain I feel when I blob. My army of fish, they return. <laughs> they tried to destroy Blob. They tried to ruin him. But the Blob cannot be ruined. The Blob is eternal. And that's the end of the game, people. That is the way the game ends. <laughs> do not ask me what the hell, because I do not know what the hell. <laughs> Just like Limbo, the ending is extremely vague. Yep, that's, uh, that's the game. Now, if you stick around for a little bit longer, I am going to um, show you the secret ending as well, which is just as vague, if not even vaguer. But I will show it to you because it, it doesn't take long to show. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's what Play Dead, the people who made this game, specialize in. Incredibly vague puzzle platformers that are dark and creepy and atmospheric and then end totally vague and they just stop abruptly. But what happened to Chuck? Was he fully assimilated into the blob? Did Chuck... Did Chuck... Did he live? 
Did Chuck live? I want to know. But I want to go. Thank you. Okay, there we go. All right, so I just have to... There's... Okay, I'm just gonna go to game facts here because while I do know where the secret ending is, there's like a combination thing that I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so I'm just gonna have to look up what the combination is. So just give me a sec. It was on... Okay, sorry, one sec here. Where is it? Secret ending. It's a it's a weird combination. Okay. And it all Chuck, yay! But no. So this is where the secret ending is, and I will just go do it. So keep in mind, you can't see this ending unless you have um destroyed all the orbs. So I missed one, unfortunately, during my playthrough, but it doesn't matter because I already unlocked it. So, this is where you find the secret ending. Oops. So this is the same place where we found an orb earlier, but instead, you go left. Okay, so up, up, right, left, right, 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 up, up. Up, right, left, left, left. Are you kidding me? Oh, because I didn't get all the fucking ones from before, eh? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, one second here. Um, hello. I did the combination correctly. Let me just see here. I'm missing one orb. I want to show you the secret ending. It's not particularly interesting, but it's something. I'm just gonna go here and recheck the stuff. Yeah, I know the light is supposed to be on, but I've already unlocked the secret ending. Is that's what I'm saying? So it's because the first time I played through, it um, we, I went back and got all the orbs. Come on, I have other stuff to do. I don't want to be playing this forever. Okay, so it still has the one missing. So it's fourth to last. Okay. Okay, so... Office space, last one. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is chapter 48. During the section with the overhead... Hey, I did that one already. After X single launch. Um, okay, I think I know which one I missed. Sorry guys, um, I, I thought I would be able to do it because I'd already done it before, but I guess not. Okay, so chapter 47. After exiting the large door into the more open area, hug the left hand wall of the area and swim downwards till you find it. So that the door is safe. Okay, just one sec. I'm not, um, I don't have visual on the chat, so I can't see what you guys are saying. I'm just gonna get this last orb and then I'll go show you the secret ending again. Damn it. Wait, I don't think this is the right one. I wish they'd number the chapters. Sorry guys, I'm just... No, that's not it either. Ugh. How many chapters are there? 66. 67. Okay, 67. So I need to be at... 47. 67, 67.
I think this is it. Ah, uh, yes, I did forget this one. Whoopsie doodle. Or not? Ow! That is not what I meant to do. Okay, so after exiting the lodge door in the morning, hug the left hand wall to your east. Hey, wait a minute. I already did this one. So it's the chapter before this one. God fucking damn it. Sorry guys, I just... <laughs> I See? I knew there was an orb here. Remember I said? Back in the previous part of the stream, I said, "Oh, I think there's an orb here," but I couldn't, I couldn't be asked to find it. So, hug the left and swim downwards too. It's because it's so fucking dark. I can't see. There it is. Damn it! See, I got that on my first playthrough just fine, but because I can't fucking see, it's too dark on my desktop. I missed it. Sorry. Slight delay, but we're good. Oh my god, I cannot see. I cannot see. my army of fish are back. Okay, there we go. Now I can go do the secret ending. At least I know this one visually, so I don't have to count. And now let's go back to secret ending. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Sorry about the delay, guys. I'll show you now. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I did it. I did all of it. <sighs> I want to show you the secret ending. I just It's too hot in here. I just want to be done and I can get back to work. I got all of them. What more do you want from me? <sighs> oh, 
Oh, right, I have to pull the thing in here, of course. Sorry. Okay. Now I can go and show you the secret ending. <laughs> Let's do this again, shall we? Watch, this is so gonna be worth it. Okay. So... Okay, here we go. Secret ending time. And that's the secret ending, everybody. Hope you liked it. Hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> yep, that's the secret ending. It's done. Yeah. That's it. I was... For having to find all the orbs and find the super secret, um, you know, combination. That's not really a satisfying secret ending. I get what it's trying to say, but it's just like, oh, okay, wow. Yeah, so... <laughs> anyway. That's the end of the game, everyone. So, I have to do some other stuff now. So, thank you for watching, everyone. That was a very fun stream. Um, I thought that that was one of- this has been one of my best streams, I think. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. And, yeah, I will be back Thursday for another Saul Plays. This one will be viewer voted, so you guys can, you know, v view- or you guys can choose what I want- what you want me to play. But yeah, I will see y'all next week. I hope you enjoy tomorrow's final episode of the Sonic Tacular, and I will see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.